Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your USB ports are not working or not being recognized on your Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search magnifying glass and type in device manager. Best match to come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to now expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section, so double click on it. Now you want to locate some of this USB mass storage device. I do not have one in my case. However, you'd only want to do this for the USB mass storage device, even though it doesn't hurt to do it on other ones here as well. But again, USB mass storage device located on this list. Right click on it and select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. And then you can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update as well. And then you can check for updates. You also try going back on it and then same way we did it the first time, right click on it, update driver, browse my computer for drivers, and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you can go ahead and select the default one listed. If you have more than one, go with the more specific one. Otherwise, go ahead and select next. And give it a moment here. And then once that is done, you should be able to go select close. And hopefully you should be good to go. Now, I do want to put out another method here, and it's going to involve running the hardware and devices troubleshooter. So if you're running Windows 10, you might notice they got rid of that from the troubleshooting utility page in later versions of Windows 10. However, you can still run it from within Windows, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So start by opening up the search magnifying glass and type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I will have this command in the description of my video guys. I want you guys to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and then select paste to paste it in. It's going to say troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. Hardware and devices. Find and fix problems with devices and hardware. Select the advanced button and make sure it says apply repairs automatically. Go ahead and select next. And then if it gives you any suggestions here, I recommend following along with them. And you can see that it has fixed an issue here. Select close and go ahead and restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.